We started Harpoon because we love beer, and the beer choices we had 25 years ago weren't good enough for us. So we decided to take things into our own hands, build a brewery, make great beer, and invite people who believed in the same things we did to come and enjoy it with us. Well, Rich and I were in the same dorm as freshmen, and so probably started drinking beer immediately after we got to college together. And uh, we then traveled to Europe separately, actually, during or right after college, visited a lot of great local breweries, different styles of beer, and the comparison with what was available in the U.S. was pretty stark. And we weren't satisfied with the beers that were available in the United States, so we decided to do this ourselves and start a brewery here. Beginning in 1986, I was in school, I wrote a business plan, um, to start a brewery. And one thing, it's one thing to put it on paper, it's another thing to actually think about doing it. So it came time to decide, am I gonna take a real job? Am I gonna start the brewery? And decided to start the brewery and talked to Dan about it and he decided to leave his job and there was no turning back. Well, the first step is, was to hire a great brewer, which we did in Russ Heisner. Rich and I, as we said, came at this as consumers. So we hired a great brewer, Russ Heisner, and we set about testing uh, various batches of harpoon ale that we brewed in his apartment in Brighton and some great parties down by the river with friends and gave them free beer to sample and all we asked for was their honest feedback on how it tasted. When we first came out with harpoon ale, some people loved it and were really supportive of a local brewery and some people thought we had two heads and had no idea why a beer had color and flavor and aroma and hops and all that. So it was really different and I think we had to really have a, have a strong belief in what we were doing and love what we were doing to keep going. Things today are completely different, which is great. It's kind of what we had dreamed about maybe 25 years ago and that it's changed from three or four beers on taps and bars and those beers being all largely the same style to today you'll walk into bars across the country and they'll have 10, 15, or 20 different beers on tap and they're representing a multiple of different styles all from a bunch of great local brewers. It's wonderful. Well, looking back over 25 years, I guess the thing I'm most proud of is that we're still here because it really wasn't assured in the first five years that we would be. I, I thought several times we wouldn't be. So it's great to be here and it's great to see what we've built. Two breweries and great people and great beers and great events and a great visitor experience hopefully for people. We've done what we set out to do 25 years ago and that's very gratifying. I've been very fortunate for 25 years to have a job that I absolutely love. And coming to work every day is something I look forward to. And uh, Rich and I have had a great partnership, which I don't take for granted. And we're surrounded by wonderful people. And I'm just hoping here's to another 25 years. What do you think? You signing up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs>